Hey, yo, what's going on? But once again, bros, women, bronies, and peg sisters will talk to you. Good morning, most especially talking to you guys out there. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. <coughs> Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Criticism Guide 2009. Of course, you guys are wrestling just channels. Don't forget to check out freenow.com. Of course, Trump and Susan, that fatty people are interested in, in that business, relationship programming, all that good shit. Links in the description box down below, annotation side, if any people are into that, ever adver doing advertisement, all that other fucking bullshit and all that stuff. Anyways, um, sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird, I swear to God I'm not getting sick, or at least to hope to God I'm not, because, <laughs> I don't know what it is, usually my allergies don't kick up really fucking high like this, but, I don't know why, for the past two days that's been happening for some fucking reason. I don't know what the hell it is, but, shit is extremely, very, very, um, extremely annoying. I don't know why it's making me lose my voice either. It's weird as fuck. But anyways, once again, we got my good friend. Um, well, not really my friend, but real cool as in the internet. Obviously, um, the dude from Dawn Somewhere Production Studios, a.k.a. Um, who is originally um, known as Fame Plan Philosophy, Greg Hoffman. He actually made another Mentally Advanced series a couple days ago. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to do it last week because um, I had a shit ton of errands and stuff to run. That's why I like some of the videos. I know it's kind of weird because a lot of them are coming out really, really early instead of really late because um, there's actually a really, really good ass explanation for that because um, <clears throat> I know the only time I actually had a lot of free time off was last week on Sunday. It's like I got some um, free time off now, even though like I just got to work out of work like about an hour ago. But <laughs> holy shit, <bro. clears throat> it's been like really, really busy as shit the last um, couple days from last week. Holy fucking hell. Bunch of a lot of news I actually heard about like even extra additional information about the annex, like a whole bunch of rumors and speculations. I did talk about this in my last reaction review segment video. It was either that or my article session review when I was talking about um I think um that Piyukamuku thing a couple days ago. That whole thing that was coming out like the whole um surfaces of rising up of um news information about that little mini game for some I don't know if I talked about it at the end of the video then, but you guys watch the entire video at the end, you know what? Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I mean, that means so much to me. I'm telling you guys. It means so fucking much. I'm real compassionate about this stuff when I do this for you, ladies and gentlemen, or my younger millennial um, viewers out there watching. But anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah, they said something about, like, um, and either Nintendo Direct's going to be coming out. I think there's going to be a Nintendo Direct supposed to be, supposedly, this is only rumor speculation, either um, next week, I think should be the next week, it's first, second, third, fourth. I think it's next week Friday or Saturday, not this coming week, but next week Friday or Saturday in September, um, September 9th, it's supposed to be a new Nintendo Direct or Treehouse event that's supposed to be, they're going to be broadcasting throughout the entire fucking world, or I think it's going to be in early October of the month after next month, so that's um, August is coming toward, towards a close, and I know a lot of my younger subscribers are still going to like, I don't know, elementary, middle school, or high school right now, or even some around my age are going to, like, college and shit like that, maybe a little bit older, younger, who knows, not being age discriminatory or nothing, but, um, you know, they might not have that much time to watch my videos anymore, and that's totally fucking understandable, it is what it is, I definitely understand, because I, I did, like, four fucking years of college, and that shit was a fucking nightmare, man, honestly, it was, it was so much fucking stress, man. It, it just, after four years, I just couldn't take that shit anymore. I was actually going to try to do six years, but I was like, yeah, I'm getting the fuck out now. Plus, I almost got into a shit ton of debt, too. Thank God I got out of it, like, two years ago. <laughs> That's why i kind of been financially struggling still a tiny bit every now and then, but not as much as I used to. Anyways, yeah, the Mentally Advanced Series, Episode 20. It says, it's pretty much something about Princess Luna. I mean, I could read the description box down below. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm losing my voice. I don't know what the fuck that is. So here we go. So it says, our ponies knowing that they have, <clears throat> I'm going to have to go a little bit closer. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. So it says, our ponies knowing that they have, have to do the right thing are faced by Luna, <clears throat> Luna's many beguiling traps. For example, there was one where they acted like there isn't Luna and that there's, and then offers you to join with another much better, a much better sports team than the one you already like. So without further ado, links and description about down below the station outside. Hopefully you stood up, <laughs> you stood with me with these past four to five minutes. I'm sorry that was a time waster. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get in. Pop a move a jumping, and here we go. Mentally advanced series episode 20. Let's do this shit. Three, two, one. And it fucking does that again. I don't know why the goddamn fuck it does that every fucking time. I'm not sure what it is. 
There's always saying an error has fucking occurred. Why the hell is that shit even happening? I don't know. I mean, because my computer is getting old as fuck. <laughs> that could be the entire case, but you know what? I'm not, <laughs> not going to judge on my computer. I've had it for like almost eight, nine years already. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Man, who was that late? Nightmare Moon. And my name is Friday. <laughs> Just because we have a oh, name awesome, doesn't mean though. everyone knows who yeah, we like are. Yeah, like Twilight or Rainbow Dash She's or something. Better known as Princess Luna. Luna what was that? The night. So, what? Is she like a singer? Pop stars are so interchangeable these days. No, she's an alicorn princess. You mean like Cadence, the princess of babysitting? I am too old to be babysat. I heard that Cadence Sorry, is an really apocalyptic level lives. slut. Oh, uh, yeah, and y'all are really one to talk, not really. That no. Nice Listen, AJ, I'm like flattered, but I'm a tri county right. slut at most. And an artist at the craft while well, I'm at it. But Cadence is a world ending slut. I hear she's having sex with the entire royal guy. She's dating my brother. See? She gets around. But how come she wants to kill us? The slut vice princess challenges us as well? Yes. No, <laughs> listen, you idiots got yourself challenged by Lord Celestia's psychotic Viking twin sister. Kind of they aren't twins. They look nothing like alike. I don't know They're fraternal that. twins. Sisters can't be fraternal, you know. That implies the male gender. Do you want to die? Is that what this is? I'm just saying, you dragged us here and you spent an hour flipping through your little books. It's not like we're getting a good impression that you know what you're doing. <laughs> shut your yapper, Rarity. Yes. Shut this butt face. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What the hell are you three doing? Well, I, I was going <laughs> to point out that this gal is with the government, so we can trust her up to a certain limited extent, but apparently really the whole group is just tired of your sure darn belly aching. Actually, That's I was really, just really doing it. I, I, I don't know what we're talking about. Yes. All right, I found it. They're all just Since in agreement with stuff. They don't even have, like, by no comprehension of the weird part of and the last one of is Luna's type of, um, Hang on. Now, that can't be right. Why? What do you mean, why? Can you read this book? This is in 3rd Century like Equestria. Now, I can't rightly say I can. Then you're wrong. Jeez, what prickly thing got wedged up your ass? My patience! Ah. But if her one weakness is being kept at her castle, why would she go there and then I challenge us to meet her there? <laughs> can she use the elements or whatever? Like, against us? Maybe? I don't know. The book says she's weak to it, but the author does spend an entire chapter talking up Celestia's hair, so maybe this is unreliable. I'm bored. Let's go fight. You want to go toe to toe <laughs> with the God Princess, despite having no real prior knowledge? Blood, 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 I suppose thou would like us to go home. <laughs> yeah, I, I usually wake up like two hours from now. I so. get like a uh, nightmare moon, a little like so. that's a computer so, thing or something. Oh my home. god, that's funny. Man. Nah, I can't. Curse it! Point no, the game. I can't get myself as different. The hell Hello. was that? Um, blue speed. Hello. Oh man, she Why has like a stereotype like, like Oh my god, I sell you. What the you. fuck? What if instead of the Wonderbolt, you join Nightmare ah. Moon, and she let you form the Thunderbolt? Uh, no, no, the, uh... Um, Thunderbolt? The Dark, uh... Oh, fuck, time to team is that, uh, Shadow what? Blast, um... <laughs> the Shadow Bolts. Shadow Bolts. <laughs> Who are they? They're like the Wonderbolts, but for Nightmare Moon, they're so much better. Uh, I mean, that's that like... would be a founding member! Well, it's like if Celestia became evil and she's like, I'm gonna be Nightmare Noon. And actually, that would be more catchy, wouldn't it? Because, like, you know, the moon is all far away, but noon happens every day. And usually right around lunch when your guard is down. They are practically the same names. It is not true. <laughs> a question of Pink one. one. There's something terrible behind you. Yeah. We don't want even sets for the win anymore. Huh. Yeah, uh, Pinkie Pie is normal with like any yeah. type of thing you tell us. She'll just believe it. No, it wasn't that, but for real. But she'll this time, there but is. She'll live, because oh, no. a cartoon. You'll trick Pinkie again? Yes. Again, there was nothing. Pinkie will not be fooled a third time. Yes, but you see, <laughs> I cried wolf before, but this time, oh, there really the is a wolf, and you are going to be okay, devoured unless you turn around. And they even gave him, like, a little, like, uh, next you time. Uh, uh, That's yeah, wild. Uh, uh, yes. I assume now thou art quite ready to flee. The stress and panic of the situation has surely gotten to thee. No. Pinky is never going to go now. Pinky is going to burn your stupid rock house to the foundations. Uh, hmm. excuse me, your highness. I, I don't fully understand what you're trying to do. Fight me! What? <laughs> Whoa! 
I thought that was funny where, like, sound animation did, like, some little tinsel rap, but he just threw him across the room. Clearly, that's why thou hast lured me here. Broom, holy but shit, I man. have come prepared. Good lord. I have erected a barrier so powerful, no magic spell known to any pony can penetrate. Too much Dungeons and Dragons. If you defeat me this day, you, you that may take my hallowed goddess virginity. But you will not, and you're dead on nothing, Babbitt of Poe. Big Mac Spike in um, Discord playing like um, Dungeons and Dragons sort of thing. <laughs> Whoa! So, what exactly are y'all trying she to get out of this whole She bombarded a whole store? bunch of rainbows. That's why we're the though? elements what? of harmony, and that's why our lives are miserable. Crazy, man. One question, though. How did you penetrate her shield? I didn't cast a powerful spell. I threw a rock at her. I think she was so used to the unrivaled magical flexes of her sister that she wasn't expecting blood force trauma. Hey, everybody! We did it! We made it to the end of a season of the Mentally Advanced series. After five years or whatever. And that said, I am planning to never work in Flash again. I'm switching over to Toon Boom. It has a lot of features that I really like. Gonna produce some really Toon good results. Boom. Unfortunately, oh, yeah, that doesn't mean I need to design some new rigs and a new program. So the next episode of Mass is gonna come out in October at Nightmare Nights, the convention. So if you guys feel like going oh, out nice. to Nightmare Nights, or if you're in the Dallas That's area the or whatever, in Texas, uh, you should come out and see us. That. It's gonna be great. Uh, in the meanwhile, though, I actually run a work stream every day, usually from about 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central. Wow. And if you want to see how the new rigs look and how the progress is going, they're just work streams. That they're not out, necessarily man. very entertaining, but you can get a glimpse at the stuff in progress. I'm found on wow. Picardo, and of course my username is Finflam Philosophy. And finally, if you enjoy the sound of all this and you want to see us do more stuff, you can support us on wow. Patreon. It is through that support that we are able to survive at all, and the help is sincerely appreciated. Otherwise, thanks for watching, you guys. You have a great day. See you. <laughs> wow. Well, you said I don't care for Patreon that much. Oh, there's you another one. Join nine. Oh, you join nine. <laughs> We're gonna join the fucking what nights? I don't even know. Well, I guess the whole season is finally over. Thank fucking God, Mom. Well, I guess this is like the final one that he was gonna do for a while, and that's pretty much it. Anyways, um, or I don't know if he's ever gonna go to MLP stuff ever again, or if he's still gonna keep. He's gonna keep doing some more My Little Pony Friends with Magic, like remake parodies of the of the episodes, or um, it's either that, or um. <clears throat> He's completely done with the Roman community. I don't know. <clears throat> but he did say in October, um, he's still going to be going to Nightmare Night. So I don't think he left the Roman community completely. But anyways, um, overall thoughts, his opinions. Oh, and of course, you know, I really don't give a shit too much about Patreon. You know, that's his own little personal, like, propaganda. propaganda. That's his own little personal agenda, usually to make money most of the time. You know, that's usually one of the main reasons I don't care for that type of websites or other things. Like, I mean, if it's something for maybe, like, certain... Kickstarters, but not all of them. Some some Kickstarter um, programs that are out there, they don't kind of support it a little bit, but not too much. Or maybe a GoFundMe or Indiegogo. I mean, here like millions and billions of heartbreaking stories out there that people really need it. For certain people, maybe they were because they were a cancer patient, because they were a cancer patient, or maybe they like um, they got into a car accident and they got into some like I don't know. They got some um, really messed up shit in their life, unfortunately, and um, very very bad unfortunate events happened to them. I mean, you hear it a million times, and after a while, you just get desensitized to it because uh, you just really don't give a fuck about it anymore. Unfortunately, you just don't. Uh, but other than that, um, hopefully I'm going to do a two-partner, so I do. I apologize. But yeah, um, as far as overall thoughts and opinions go, you did a really, really mass magnificent, amazing job with this um, really, really amazing, wonderful project. I'm going to miss it a lot. But um, Greg Hoffman, shout out to him for making this whole project, Production Studios, and the other dude, Ricardo um, something, Edward Ricardo, I forgot what his name was, but I thought his name was Greg Hoffman, not Edward Ricardo, unless it was another dude that was working with him that was named Edward Ricardo, I don't know. Shout, shout out to him anyways, because they busted their ass off after, after five fucking years of doing this fucking thing. This is probably one, one of the first ten um, Broning channels I even heard about way back when I was still joining the Broning community back in 2012 at the time. And my God, it, it has changed a lot since then, I'm not going to lie. Um, but other than that, oh yeah, one other thing, like, the only, like, um, <laughs> tidbit of a pet peeve that I have to say about this, like, my animation is that, <laughs> I know it's usually, like, the same thing most of the time, I just, I really, really wish you would, um, <clears throat> you would use a little bit more music in this type of, um, in this type of projects, instead of just doing it at the end all the time with any credits, but you know what, I guess it's a sort of budget that he has to use whenever, um, 
he has to do the animation because he's not working with a billion trillion dollar corporation company that does animation stuff like how fucking Cartoon Network, um, I think Disney XD, if that's how they are nowadays, Nickelodeon, anything else that has to do with animation, I guess, you know, they're not working with billion dollar companies like those, so they can't just go out and waste a shit ton of money like they normally do. <laughs> or, and I guess, you know, Discovery Kids, I, I guess if you want to call that one, the Animation Studios, even though they're originally Discovery way back in the day, I remember as a 90s kid, I watched a couple of those shows, but mostly because, you know, the animal stuff, like Animal Planet back then. You know, TV for me was a really, really big ass thing at the time until about once YouTube came out back in 05, that's pretty much when I got hooked to that. And uh, ever since then, I barely even watch TV as much as I used to from way back in the days, except for maybe like once a week, maybe monthly even. It comes to like the weather or something like that for the, for the news, and that's pretty much it. Or if I watch a little bit of anime every now and then, but that's only if I see using my Netflix every now and then, once in a while. <clears throat> Aside from that, that's really all I gotta say. So, once again, Give him credit where credit is due. Shout out to Greg Hoffman for uh, making this, like I said before, making this wonderful, amazing project after five years in the making of this thing. Whatever other um, adventure or um, what was it called? Whatever other project he decides to venture in, you know what? Best of luck to the man because he definitely deserves it. And uh, yeah, that's it. Links to the description box down below. I almost said the right thing earlier. <laughs> oh yeah, one other thing, another tidbit is I really wish... He would make like the people's um the ponies excuse me mouths move a lot more i wish he would have his mouth animation moved a little bit better compared to how he did before and that's the only tip, other tip that i had after this whole fucking five years of thing but you know, i guess that's his little uh, trademark of style of animation that he likes to do and that's it <clears throat> peace out once again bros women bronies some packages of toxic emails i will see you when i see you guys good day have a good night wherever you are around the world don't drink smoke at the same time don't take the reckless keep it calm keep it cool be chill keep it left out there and until then, next time, guys, peace out, ladies and guys. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on the channel almost every single day. Stay in the grind. Stay easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Be easy. Be you. Do it yourself. Peace out, my sauerkraut. I'm gone. Peace out, my sauerkraut. I'm gone. Again, a lot of here. Stay tuned. More future content on the channel. Stay tuned. More updates. And until then, next time, guys, um, stay safe, everyone. Stay tuned. More future content videos on the channel, such as Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, PC gaming news, and of course, anime, manga news, and a review article, review sessions this coming Thursday, once um, September starts around the corner. And of course, as always, um, stay tuned for more um, reaction review segments and overhyped reaction reviews such as this one and sometimes video responses, rant review responses, reaction review segments as well. And uh, that's a mouthful to, um, <clears throat> a mouthful to keep up with, but just leave, leave only there. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Take it easy, peace out, goodbye, and I will see you guys in the next time, in the next future video. Take it easy and goodbye.